welcome back to my channel so if you're new here welcome my name is Cynthia so in today's video I will show you guys how I was able to create this grayish metallic looking um, eyeshadow look in full face um, so it's been quite some time since I had you know last done makeup and so I just figured let me just try to you know create something different from what I usually try to create anyways um so let me just go ahead and dive into this video but if you just join me here on this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please click that subscribe button and do not also forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I put up a new video here so without wasting much time let's just go ahead and dive into this video right now So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. Um, so I have a detailed eyebrow tutorial on this channel. I will link it up somewhere here so you can also check that out. I'm going to go with my eyeshadow base primer. I always talk about using this base primer when I want to do like shimmery colors or something. But because I'm doing both shimmery colors and you know matte looks, I'm going to use this because I need that to like work out for me. So So I will be doing this look with my Huda Beauty Megan Textured Eyeshadow Palette and to transition first I'm going to go into this shade here called Mystic Night. I'm going to apply this first and I'm doing this in the upper area here. and I'm going to walk in some of this black uh, black shade to my wing here apply some of my eyeshadow primer again um, just to cut my crease with that a little so going with this brush I'm going to tap into this shade called Coco this I haven't used before guys I'm gonna okay let's swatch this with my fingers and show you guys pretty like okay this is what it is so I'm going to be doing that color right now Okay, so let me try out one thing. I'm going to apply this one called Climbing Rose on top of this um, cocoa that I did and see what it does. See that, guys? It like makes it more metallic. I'm going to go ahead and apply foundation, and later I'm going to come back. My eyes, so I'm using my classic high definition foundation as usual, guys. Just one pump, I got one pump today. foundation because I want to see what it looks like putting so much foundation products on my face because I see a lot of makeup artists do this thing and I'm just wondering like how 
so let me just do this i'm just putting so much foundation products on my face that i usually would have done look look at this area guys look at what's going on here this is a lot of products so my face is too much with a lot of products but i don't care let's go ahead and apply concealer i'll be using my elega pro concealer as usual and this one is in the shade one money i'm going to also do this thing like makeup artist artist or artist artist so i'm going to put little products everywhere first and then come back for the second round of products i've seen one person doing that before and i'm like what does this work don't blame me i'm going with my beauty blender and i'm going to do this blend and clean out okay Okay, so this is a lot of baking going on. I usually don't do a lot of baking like this, but guys, I am up for it today. So we're like experiencing and like playing a lot with this look, but I just like it. And I'm going to go with this brush and I'm going to take some of my setting powder here, tap into a lot of products. I don't want to do so much. And I'm gonna swipe this through this area here, just to set the concealer I use there. started doing a lot of contour too it's like a lot of things I recently started doing and I like it I'm going to go into this my Iman um, pressed powder and this one is in the shade medium this is a liquid type Just I'm going to blend this one out. So to define this contour that I did here a little bit and make it not look just like a cream thing going on, I'll go with my blush and this is my True Self Makeup Blush. Guys, I love this blush a lot. If this is not the only brush I have aside from the cream one that I have now, so I'm going to... So to blend everything together, I'm going to go with a brush and I'm just going to make this movement all over my face and blend everything down. All right guys, so going back to my eyes so we can finish my eye finally, I'm going to go with this palette 
um, my Bolero palettes. I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to take some of this um, color shade called the uh, Carabigail the black like I said I'm going to try to just create a little wing with this thing here so once that is done I'm going to apply my eyeliner my black eyeliner to my, my lids Apply the same eyeliner in my under eye area just to create like a dark shade there. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my lashes on. I There you go. I'm going to go back to setting my face. Um, so to usually give my under eye area that very brightness that I usually like from it, I go in with this um, shade called highlight. So I'm going to apply some glow to my chin up um, to this area but before I do that I'm going to intensify that um, blush that I did a little bit more just a tiny okay I think that's okay and I'm going to apply some highlighter and shine off with my lips I'm going to be lining my lips with my lip liner and brow pencil as well okay so I'm going to go with this lipstick color I like this look at that Ooh, this color is bomb So this is how everything came together. I still feel like um, my whole face is looking good, but I just do not like what is going on with my lips right now. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to do this. Just a little. Um, lip color that I had was just like over the place with it. Okay, so this is the finished look. This is how everything came together. I love, love, love this look. I love, um, you know, how I finally got to blend out this huge foundation thing that I was trying to get with this look. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And if you just join me here on this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please do not forget to click the subscribe button right now and also do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever i put up a new video here i will see you guys in my next one and thank you so much for watching